Hi, this is Mike from BandLab, and in this video, we're going to make a breakbeat techno beat in BandLab's free online DAW. You can open this project yourself with the link in the video description. And if you find this guide useful, please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell to be the first to know when new videos drop. I start by setting the project tempo to 145 beats per minute and the project key to A sharp minor. Naturally, for breakbeat techno, it's important to find some appropriate breakbeat samples. So I open up BandLab Sounds and enter Jungle into the text search field. I open the 90s Jungle Pack and set the instrument filter to drum. I drag J155 Break Sovereign 4 bar into the project, and BandLab automatically time stretches it to fit the project's tempo. I set the track volume to minus 4.5 dB to give me more headroom in the mix to add other elements. I drag J165 Amen Chop 8 bar into the project next. This 8 bar loop features lots of edits, but I want to keep things relatively simple, so I position the playhead at the start of bar 3 and press the S key to chop the sample. I delete the second clip and duplicate the first clip over. To duplicate MIDI notes in BandLab, hold Option on Mac or Alt on Windows and drag them into the desired position. I'd like to hear how the sample sounds at a lower pitch, so I double click it to bring up the editor panel. I set the sample's pitch shift to minus 2. I feel like this is an improvement, so I set the second clip's pitch shift to minus 2 as well. I set this track to minus 4.5 dB. I'd like to add some light 909 drum machine sounds to give the track a driving techno feel. I create a new virtual instrument track and set it to drums, drum pads, 909 kit. I program kicks on each beat with open hats between the beats and closed hats on the first two sixteenth notes. I then duplicate this bar out for the whole clip. I set this track to minus 3.8 dB. I don't want the kick drum's low end to be the focus of the track, so I open the effects panel and add a tone, EQ3M. I turn the low gain down to minus 6.8 dB. This keeps the propulsive energy of the kick drum, but allows the brakes to dominate the low end and thus retain the breakbeat feel. Now that I've got some drums, I want to try some atmospheric and musical elements alongside them to get a vibe going. In BandLab Sounds, I click the Packs tab and enter Rave into the text search field. Warehouse Techno Drums and Bass sounds enticing, so I open it and start auditioning the sounds. Immediately, WT128 Drums 2 Bar Tops Time appeals to me, so I drag it into the project and duplicate it so that it plays for the whole 4-bar sequence. It's cool, but I'm not really feeling the last couple of hits at the end, so I use the handle at the bottom right-hand corner of the clip to truncate the clip so that the last beat doesn't play. I do this for both clips. I set this track to minus 8.8 .8 dB. 
Next, I drag WT128 A sharp minor synth bass 4 bars switch into the project. I turn this track down to minus 6.9 dB. This techno bass line is cool, but I want to switch it up to a section with a heavy hardcore sub bass. I duplicate out the existing 4 bar section and delete the atmosphere and techno bass in the second four bars. In BandLab Sound's Packs tab, I search for Rave and open the 90s Rave Pack. 9R135 D sharp minor stab organ four bars the vibe I'm after, so I drag it into the project. I set this track to minus 5.8 dB. I'd like to pair this Rave stab with a synth bass stab. In BandLab Sound's Packs tab, I again search for Rave, and this time open up the Rave 2020 pack. There's a sample here that features the kind of bass stab I want, Rave 2020 Synth 01. However, I want it to play a different pattern. So I create a sampler track and drag the sample onto the first sample pad. I move the sample end marker to the end of the first stab, before the delay effect is heard. This gives me a clean, isolated version of the sound. I duplicate the sample on the second pad by holding Option or Alt and dragging it over. I set this new version's pitch to plus 3 semitones. I make another copy and set this to plus 5 semitones. Then I sequence a pattern that fits with the existing stab line. I set this track to minus 4.5 dB. I'd like to add a delay effect like the one heard in the original version of the sample. So in the effects panel, I add a delay, filter echo effect. I set the mix to 30% and the feedback to 15%. Now it's time to add that hardcore sub bass I mentioned earlier. I add a new instrument track and set it to basses, synth basses, sine bass. I set this track to minus 4.5 dB. I program in a very simple bass line that plays A sharp followed by D sharp. Next, I'm going to add some riser effects to help smooth the transitions between sections. I drag Rave 2020 FX09 into the project, truncating the first half of the sample. I set this track to minus 11.6 dB. I then do the same with Rave 2020 FX02. I set this track to minus 12.8 dB. I'd also like an impact sound to mark the end of the track. For this, I select Rave 2020 FX05. I turn this track down to minus 9.6 dB. For the arrangement, I start with 8 bars of breakbeats. I then add the 909 beat in Atmosphere Sample. Then the techno bass comes in. I then switch up to the Rave Stab and Sub Bass. This is then joined by the Synth Bass Stab. The Rave Stab is then replaced with the Atmosphere Sample. Then comes a breakdown with the atmosphere sample and techno bass. For the second half of the breakdown, the 909 drums come in. On the second drop, these sounds are switched out for the sub bass and the synth bass step. 
The rave stab is then reintroduced. For the last part of the track, I switch back to the atmosphere sample and techno bass. For the last eight bars, the atmosphere sample drops out, and the end of the track is punctuated by the impact sound. You can fork this project and make your own version of it using the link in the video description. Have fun!